Greetings everyone, my name is Samir Madani at Dovato and I'm um, here to present you our product, the Dovato 4GR. The 4GR allows you to insert a USB modem for a mobile internet, such as this one. You plug it in there and you can share out the internet access via the Wi-Fi antennas, which are totaling 300 megabits, 802.11n. Or you can actually share it out via LAN ports as well. Uh, these LAN ports are gigabit speed capable and also there's a WAN port here for internet failures. So for instance if you have ADSL at home or fiber ethernet and sometimes it you know drops the connection it will toggle over to 3G or 4G automatically as a backup line. And once it goes online again the 3G or 4G will drop over to or fail over to the WAN port. So uh, this transfer speed between the WAN or the internet and the local area network is very high as well. It's somewhere around between 600 and 900 megabits depending on your computers. As, as it has a second USB port, it also means you can uh, insert other gadgets into it. So for instance, we support home automation via a device called a Telstick and that will allow you to send a wireless pulse to, for instance, any number of these wall plugs that you have laying around your house. So in each wall plug you can have, for instance, a lamp, uh, cooler or heater, and you can actually steer it by SMS or via our iPhone and Android app. So for instance, I can sit at home or anywhere around the world and just control the lights at home uh, via this app. And uh, some other things that we support on the secondary USB port is, for instance, storage. So you can have file storage at home. Uh, by plugging in a USB hard disk or a thumb, a thumb drive um, and all the data that you want to have stored centrally can be done so via the router and so any number of users at home can connect to that storage and, and uh, share files uh, between themselves that way. Uh, there's also another thing that we support and that is GPS tracking so for instance if you have this mounted in a vehicle such as a boat or a bus or a car and while it's in um, it's in motion, you can actually follow its um, position via the iPhone app. So, for instance, I have a uh, map here, and that will show me where the router is currently located. So, uh, as we support the latest and greatest in terms of mobile broadband, I shall now demonstrate our capabilities uh, in regards to 4G and what data rates we're able to throttle. Uh, mind you, these data rates might be average, sometimes we peak at very higher rates, sometimes lower, all depending on, on how the network is performing. So, uh, in this demonstration I've set up a 4GR here with a Huawei E398 USB modem. It's plugged in via Ethernet cable into the laptop. And we shall do our measurement here. As I start that measurement, I have a stopwatch for data uh, tracking. So I'll click on start here on the stopwatch and the measurement. So now we're connected to a commercial 4G LTE network here in Sweden. Uh, these are the speeds that we're getting in. You can see it says 62 megabits. And if we look at our stopwatch, it actually peaked at 68 megabits for this session. We've seen higher um, Sometimes it's in the late 80s, even. And on the uplink, it's 5 megabits on the peak and 3.84 on the average. So now you can see that it supports uh, 4G and a whole bunch of other things. Uh, we're encouraged uh, how things are progressing with this router. It's been available for a year and we are constantly redefining its capabilities. There's going to be more to come in the following year. Thank you very much. Bye bye.